This is your Wish Upon a Star Lunar Horoscope for Sunday, November 15th, 2020. The new moon occurs while transiting through the 19th mansion of the moon, and that's at 5.07 a.m. early in the morning using universal time coordinated and tropical astrology. Luna's activation of lunar mansion number 19 during a new moon at 0% light is very potent for completing and wrapping up spells for projective magic while simultaneously you can also or and or begin plans for projective magic rituals and spells okay now mansion of the moon number 19 is in effect from early in the morning okay on the 15th and so number 19 the mansion itself is in effect from 209 a.m. on the 15th until late in the night on that same day at at 10:36 p.m. okay so on the 15th from early in the morning to late in the night we have number lunar match number 19 at those specific times that I just told you being in effect now with the new moon occurring in Scorpio at 5:07 a.m. on that day on the 15th Lunar Mansion number 19 is magically activated at the exact time of the new moon. Okay, and we're going to get into all this for you and tell you exactly you know, how to use this to be very uh, effective for your well-being, uh, very beneficial for making your plans and your goals come into fruition and manifestation. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. I'm a Rosicrucian seer, a Biblical astrologer, Christian psychic, and Gnostic mystic. And this is a Readings by Rosemary Angelic Transmission. The Astrology Angel Magical Invocations and Horoscope Prediction Method uh, that we teach should be used with all mindfulness since very powerful forces of manifestation are unleashed. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Now, Lunar Mansion... Uh, number 19 we're going to describe it to you and we're going to tell you all about uh, the angel involved and also the alchemical metals and that you can use for making amulets and rosaries and those kind of things the tarot cards the musical note so we're going to give you all this information now Lena's going to be in Scorpio the moon will be in Scorpio uh, at, at 21 degrees and 20 it's 25 uh, minutes and 40 seconds to Sagittarius 4 degrees 17 minutes and 9, nine seconds uh, according to Abraham that's the 19th mansion according to Abra Abraham those are the coordinates so 21 uh, 25 21 degrees 25 minutes for Scorpio and 4 degrees 17 minutes for Sagittarius if you know I said the seconds earlier but you understand it's a you can get real specific if you want to now this is according to Abraham and and the stars to wish upon inside the 19th mansion of the moon are named Shaula and Lisath. Uh, this is according to Warnock. And he reveals that the name of mansion number 19 is being called Al Shaula. Now Agrippa, on the other hand, discloses the names of Alatha, uh, Achala, Haikula and Aksala for Mansion of the Moon number 19. And that means the tail of Scorpio. So it's the tail of Scorpio, indicating the tail of the constellation of the Scorpion. Now, Shaula is also called Lambda Scorpii, while Lesath is also called Upsilon Scorpii. Ask the angel of Lambda Scorpii and Upsilon Scorpii, who is named Amutiel to give you victory in attack of that which you would conquer. Now sorceresses and sorcerers use this mansion to cause women whom they envy to bleed, to stop them from bearing children by using the image of a woman holding her hands before her face, in front of her eyes, okay? Now Agrippa unveils that bleeding or labor can be induced in a woman by flaunting a copper rendering at her possessing the representation of a woman who is ashamedly placing the palms of her hands over her eyes, making certain that the emblem have been scented with liquid storax, strong enough so that the intended woman or women are able to detect the fragrance and the aroma thereof. Agrippa also reveals 
that this is a mansion when images of army battalions surrounding cities and towns, besieging them and destroying the riches therein, having their way with those they overrun, displacing people from their locations, breaking through obstructions placed upon streets, destruction of captives, annihilating seamen, the separation of colleagues and associates for the purpose of obliterating their treasures are made and used. These images and renderings and, and figurines and, and moving pictures are and all, all of the kind of things that can made to be made to present this, like plays and movies and, and TV shows and anything that you can think of, okay? Commercials, sitcoms, books, magazines, advertisements, anything you can think of, even the way, the way you speak to people, even things done in a church to, to mimic these mm -hmm. things, okay? Uh, these things are done and represented and presented to you to cause such things to occur and induce birth or bleeding from a womb, from, from a woman's womb, okay? So this mansion also causes detainees to escape and harvest, according to Warnock, to flourish. That's the difference between Warnock and Agrippa in that specific instance. Now, according to the Kabbalistic lore, Scorpio is ruled by the planet Mars and Pluto, the planets Mars and Pluto, while Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter. Now, Scorpio birthstone is citrine, with Sagittarius birthstone being turquoise. Rosaries and amulets using citrine for Scorpio are magically potent for this praxis. So you can make these kinds of, of amulets and talismans or rosaries, that kind of thing. Now, Kabbalistic and alchemical planetary associations in this instance of a new moon in Scorpio whilst transiting through lunar mansion number 19 could be utilized with perfumes, essential oils, herbs, or flowers, as well as colors. Planetary alchemical metals in this case would indicate iron for Mars and plutonium for Pluto. Iron can be therapeutic or toxic depending upon the individual exposed and the dose absorbed and therefore should be used with all caution, okay? Now, plutonium is both toxic and radioactive and therefore is, its use is not practical for this operation. Only people with the license to do so should handle toxic or radioactive substances and people exposed must be monitored by proper authorities. Now, since Agrippa mentions that mansion of the moon number 19, and, and by, you know, that the ancients uh, traditionally and properly used copper for 19, for the mansion of the moon number 19, for the metal. So they used copper, okay? And liquid storax for the aroma. These choices would be more pragmatic as well as more magically effective for the making of a seal, a, a rosary, or, or, you know, any kind of amulet, okay? So this is the kind of magical talisman you can make from these. You know, you can use the metal to the chain of the rosary and you can use the, 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 the you know, stone that they indicate for the, for the you know, for the, for the beads thereof, okay? Or any, you know, for, and you can use the colors that match. If you don't have the exact, you can paint wood, you can paint wood or you can, you can use beads that are just the same color and you can use the, the, the metals of the same color and you can scent it with, like this one is, is for, is more for things that would react to the color red and, and the, the scent of, of rose oil. Okay, this is a Jerusalem, this is a Jerusalem uh, rosary, okay? And as you see, it, it, it's very, it's very beautiful. It's very magically scented. And this one's very special to me. Very, very special to me. Now, uh, I noticed there was some powder on it from the rosary, okay? That's very magical. Now, but for this specific, that this, I wouldn't use this one for that, but I was giving you an example. There's many examples you can use, okay? But they mention using copper, okay, for the seal. Now, but you got to understand it. You, you can make things generally for water, which a water sign, which is Scorpio. You can make things generally for Scorpio, which is, 
which is fixed water, or you can make things specifically for the tail of Scorpio, which is what dimensions of the moon are all about. And that's what we're going to get into for you right now, which is very specific where we have you using copper, okay? Now, it's important to note here that according to Vivian Irwood Robson, author of the book, The Fixed Stars and Constellations in Astrology, the Greek astronomer, astronomer uh, Ptolemy at, attributes the, the two stars, which are located specifically in the stinger of the scorpion, as being attributed to the planets of Mars and Mercury, okay, in regard to the planetary nature of this area of the constellation of Scorpio, this specific portion of Scorpio, okay? And this is in contrast to the other portions of the body of the scorpion where Ptolemy assigns differing planetary aspects, most of which include Mars in this particular instance. Okay, now, other Kabbalistic correspondences for lunar mansion number 19 are as follows. Moon in Scorpio provides common sense in matters of love, romance, and procreation. Planetary archangel for Luna is, is the Archangel Gabriel, meaning God is my strength, power of God, and a messenger of God. Zodiac Angel for Scorpio is Bartiel, whose divine tone is I create. Tarot card for Luna, the, or the moon, is the High Priestess card. So you can use the High Priestess card with the, with the pillars of, of Yakim and Boaz, and the crescent of the moon at her feet, you see, and the pomegranates around her head with the waxing, waning, and full moon, and the hidden new moon upon her head, the crown upon her head. This is the high priestess, which is specific for the moon, not the moon card, that's for Pisces. The high priestess for the moon specifically, okay? Now, the Western Array uh, musical note for the ancient planet, they used to call the moon a planet, the ancient planet of the moon, is F, okay, F for the moon. I'm gonna play that for you now. This is F. That's the tone, F. Okay, now, uh, for Scorpio, the sign of Scorpio, the tarot card for Scorpio is the death card. See, uh, we have the, the, the death card uh, walking there. We have the, the Grim Reaper, the skeleton wearing the black metal, riding on a, on a white steed, walking over everything. And, and we have the things that are, that are enlightened here, even, even the, the high priest here, or the Papa, the, the Pope of, of the medieval Pope and the, the death is walking towards him, you see. And, but what they don't want you to miss is the, not only that is this death, but this is a very powerful white horse, a powerful white horse, maybe an apocalyptic horse, okay? Walking towards these, these already walked over these other beings that are already laying on the ground with portions of their body on the ground. Now, but you want to see there's a sunrise back here because this is about death and resurrection through the, the white horse represents sexuality and sex regeneration and rebirth. And this represents an enlightened being and rebirth as a rebirth of the sun as the sun is eaten and then is birthed every, every morning. It's eaten every night and birthed every morning and as in the old Egyptian lore, okay? So that's what that means. Now... The Western Array musical note for Scorpio is the note of E, the note of E for Scorpio. We're going to play E for you now. That is for E. All right. Now, the information that is found in the attached document and that this video is based on, it's based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by a Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have committed to memory. We'd like to give you just a, just a little, um, some information. Uh, I, 
I'm getting this information from Kabbalah, from the Rosicrucian clergy, plus I've started my own grimoire, uh, that I, I was in a, a, in a coven that was affiliated with the Black Forest Coven uh, in, in Germany. I was in a coven that was associated with that coven and a satellite of that coven and also uh, want you to make sure that you that you uh, understand that we've used the works of and the ephemeris of Christopher Warnock and also for his his book Mansions of the Moon and that's uh, the Mansions of the Moon it has an ephemeris in it that goes from from 2019 to 2033 and also we're using uh, the Donald Tyson, uh, the edit, edit, the the edit, and the um, annotations by Donald Tyson, the Llewellyn version of the three books of occult philosophy of, uh, written by Henry Cornelius Agrippa. Okay, and we just want you to understand that there's many, many books that we could. Uh, next time I'll bring my my, my grimoire for you, and I have it at my other at. at at uh, the sanctuary uh, UCL right now, but I'll bring it over for you and I'll, I'll go ahead and show that one to you next time. I showed it to you in another one of my videos about Lunar Mansions. And we'll, we'll be sharing with you some of the other books and also uh, some of the information from some of the other books. And also remember to uh, the, the Fixed Stars and Constellations uh, by Robson, by uh, Vivian E. Robson, okay? Uh, and that's, that's uh, very important. Uh, and you can also find the, um, some of the information about that in the document attached to it and the exact page numbers if you want to look it up. Okay, so thank you for joining us and please join us again next time.